Hello family, welcome to our channel again. My name is Edith. I hope you are all blessed. And let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this wonderful day. We ask that you come by and be beside us so that you can speak through me what you want your children to receive today. In your mighty name I pray. Amen. God is saying congratulations, congratulations for being a cheerful giver. This message is going to someone. This person did a good deed to someone. There's a, this woman, a um, single woman with a child who was going through a heartache today, um, recently actually, and finally she was in the point of throwing the towels. And you, as a person, as a child of God, you went and helped her out. You went there and hug her and give your time, your resources, whatever you did to this woman. You have changed everything which she was thinking of doing or what she never thought that she could pass this day out. Okay, you have been that kind of person who is um, a child of God. Okay, your kindness to her and her child, your compassionate to her and her child was made a difference in everything on her life today. Uh, so God is saying congratulations. If you read uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 6 to 7, God says uh, he loves the cheerful givers. Okay, if you, sp if you sow sparingly, you receive sparingly. If you sow abundantly, you re receive abundantly. So you've been such a person today. And God says your reward will come. Now, for those who um, like to go with their merry days and they in unintentionally, or intentionally don't um, look for people who are hurting you might find that your neighbors because as I could see this this person this lady who has a child is your neighbor actually is a neighbor on like a next building like a, yeah it's like next building to where you live but you've made a relationship with this person and he, she reached to a stage where she could even call to ask for you. So uh, we learned something here. We learned that we need also to check around on our environment in our community. There are so many people who are hurting. Even at this time as we speak, a lot of people are going through some tough time. But if we are not intentionally as a children of God to seek them and to find them, to give them a smile, to connect with them so that they can feel that ease of talking to you or telling you anything or making, you know, a gesture to show you that they're suffering okay people sometimes they like to hide they like to hide because they feel different okay and if you're a person who's just passing by every day they see you going and come in going and come in and you don't even smile at them then how are you going to know if they're suffering because if anything happens to them the only thing you can say oh i wish they could tell us oh i wish you could open up but who's to open up you are passing by every day so as the children of God, we have to be intentional in looking for these opportunities to open up to these people so that we know these are children of God, okay? These are brothers and sisters. They're hiding out there. Something is going on in life. So if God bless you to be where you are, then definitely you can hand out your hand. And giving, it doesn't mean money. Give, it doesn't mean financial only. It could be time. It could be a shoulder to cry on. It could be just having someone to talk to for a while there are so many people they're staying inside the house they don't even speak to people weeks okay but you could be there the day they come outside just go and give them a smile oh are you that neighbor who stays there oh that's good next time when you walk outside i'll come come knock my door let's walk together you know in that way you're making conversation in conversation intentionally so that you know they can feel ease of coming to talk to you and have a friendship with them and we are all in that community of christ by with with christ everything is possible so please go out there and do something okay do something don't sit there and think the name your neighbor knows or your neighbor can open up i understand the other people they don't want to connect that's okay if they don't but try 
others okay god bless you and i pray that you your eyes should be open from right now as you go outside and look at those people who need help okay thank you bye bye